here I am at the Iditarod Race Headquarters. It's a really nice log building. And inside it is a gift shop and they have a couple of meeting rooms and things like that. But if I swing around, there's a arch right there that says Iditarod Headquarters. And then you can see that we've got a few dog mushers here that have their dogs ready for um, the vet checks. So if I walk up here, this is, uh, this is Musher's last name is Cook, and you can see uh, we've got some of the mushers here, and we've got some of uh, the vet checks, and what they're doing is the vets are taking a look at different things, and uh, each dog has a chip, and so they chip each dog, and so they know who they're talking to and who they're looking at. And um, some of them, this little guy's not too happy to be here, uh, but some of them are very excited. And uh, here's some more. Here's some more happy puppies. And that's a musher right there. And so, yeah, they're all waiting their turn. These are some pictures of the vet technicians and the veterinarians looking at some of the dogs at the vet check in Wasilla. They're looking at heart their heart rate, they're looking at their muscle tone, they're looking at uh, just the physical characteristics of the dog. This is Matt Failer. His dog's scary. They couldn't find the chip, and so they had to re-chip him. There you go, scary. All right. and this is scary, scary right? yeah. It's all right down the new number. Yeah, yeah, make sure it works. You guys keep the long list. Oh, this right here. That's the head veterinarian right there. He's kind of like the big guy in charge. Of everything. And, uh, long time no see. There you are. Oh, I just happened to walk up and here was a whole gaggle of vets here. And I'm going to ask them all the same question. So uh, why do you uh, come back to do this every year? Uh, personally for me, it's it's a, a joy to come out here and uh, just do something different than everyday clinical practice. And uh, kind of clears my head. And still have like a lot your, of fun and uh, like treating home. dogs. And <laughs> like your vacation time. <laughs> yeah, it's a working yeah. vacation. Yeah. And how about, <laughs> and how about, now where are you from? Arizona. You're from Arizona. And yeah. where are you oh. from? I'm in Anchorage. Okay. Yeah. And you're close. You just live uh, here, but yeah, well, I've only been up for two years. Okay. I had a practice oh, in Iowa God. for most of my career. So oh, very good. And I had a. Yeah, and I just enjoy the working with the sled dogs. It's adventure coming out, and I enjoy the other veterinarians a lot. So we just have a. It's like a reunion every year. So. Kind of a nice group. Yeah, it is. It's uh -huh. kind of a nice group. It Thank is. you. Yeah. Okay. This is Tabitha, and she's going to tell you just a little bit about how she got started in this. Um, I got started volunteering with dogs on dog races, on like 200 and 300 mile races. Um, and then I went with a team I was volunteering at their kennel with to their ECG blood work appointment. And um, I've always been interested in sled dogs and just Alaska in general. And that's how I started, just volunteering, harassing any veterinarian that would take me as part of their vet team with them. All right. And you, do you have a tech certificate or something? Yeah, I went to school for veterinary technology, so I have my associates in veterinary technology, and then um, you have to pass national boards, yeah. and so I took the national exam and passed that, and then I'm also licensed in Oklahoma and um, Alaska. Very cool. Thanks, Tabitha. You're welcome. Hi, this is Caroline, and she is one of the vet techs, right? I'm veterinarian. Oh, she's a veterinarian. Sorry. That's a okay. veterinarian. Okay, and so she's got some paperwork here. We're not going to really look at it because it's kind of like personal information for those dogs. So tell us about what's on the papers. Um, they have the pet's name, or the, pa the patient's name, the musher. Um, they do, we do an exam on every single dog, and then their vaccine status and deworming um, protocol. And we sign it as long as everything turns out okay, and send it to the people that will make sure every, all the dogs have everything in, in uh, the proper place before they go out on the trail. And how many dogs usually get checked per musher? I think it depends on um, if they have extras that come along. I think that we've been doing about 16 to 20. Okay. 
<laughs> per, uh, per musher. And pretty much every check is the same? Yeah. Hopefully, yes. Okay. And are there some dogs that don't get checked out okay? Yes. If we hear things like an arrhythmia or um, we see something that would potentially, uh, like a cough where they are eating well or something like that, then they might have to have a little bit uh, more investigation and may not go out on the trail. Okay. So it's really important that the dogs are really well taken care of. Yes. That's cool. They're right. in good, that, that they're in good, you know, shape and that their uh, feet are okay and things like yeah. that. Excellent. Okay. All Thank right. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye.